You've probably seen fonts combined in one heading on websites and you've wondered How did they do that? With the help of HTML and CSS, specifically the span tag. If you don't know what the span tag stands for, just know that it is an inline container used to mark up a portion of a text or a whole document. And it can be easily manipulated and styled with the help of CSS and JavaScript through classes and IDs. That's it. Okay, so we have this beautiful heading here that is a mix of two fonts. We have combined two fonts to give it this little bit of a rich, professional, elegant, stylish feel. <laughs> And in my opinion, it looks really, really good. And it breaks that monotony that the heading can have sometimes, if you know what I mean. It's just like plain and boring and uninspired. And I think this is really, really nice. Okay, so how we can achieve this? I think it's very easy, in my opinion. You just need a little bit of CSS, just a little bit, just a smidge. All right, so the heading itself as a whole has a specific font. So we want to change some words to a different font. So what I did was basically select the words that I wanted to change, which were design, building, website, and business. And I have enclosed them separately in span tags, separately, right? And I have given each a class. I have assigned a different class to each one of them. That's it, as easy as that. And I have added in the custom CSS, the classes, which are four classes, yeah? For each word, four words, four classes. and. I have given them the font family name that I wanted to give. And that's it, absolutely that's it, nothing else. Okay, so if you want to take things to another level, let's say that, you can apply a gradient effect to each word individually or the same gradient, it's up to you. And I know this used to be popular in the Web3 realm. I don't know how popular it is now, but this is super interesting and super cool. And I have a code prepared already. Let's apply it to the word designing. I know the color combination is not the best you can change it and make it your own you can change the percentages of how much is each color is applied the direction and everything else i mean how cool is this so simple and i have another little example with a different kind of gradient let's change the word building to this kind of gradient how cool is this i mean you can do so much so so much if you don't have elementor pro then you don't have the custom css option but you can watch this video here to find out how to add custom CSS to Elementor 3.